Okay, here we are back in the scripting editor in Setup Factory. I've eliminated our code and I've just retained that application exit action. This is what I'm going to do to start all these lessons. So I won't reiterate as we do each one, but this is where I'm going to start off. Okay, we're going to take a look at control structures here. Now we're going to look at an if statement in detail in the next lesson. So we won't break it down right now, but let's just take a quick look at the anatomy of what we did there. Now, for example, we asked our script if 5 is greater than 3, then give us an action, for example, a dialog message action. Okay, this is what we call a control structure. In, or, in, in other words, we're able to create some type of an action conditionally upon some other, uh, or basically based upon the outcome of some other condition. So, in this particular case, we're testing uh, numbers to see whether or not they're uh, equivalent or greater than or equal to. In other cases, we might be comparing strings or we might be um, uh, actually looping through values. For example, if we have a, a data table that contains uh, 50 entries, we might want to loop through it by just using a simple for statement instead of actually having to create 50 lines of code and so forth. So the gist of it is that control structures basically allow us to take a script and create gateways within it, logical gateways to trigger certain actions um, conditionally. So, or even blocks of actions or functions. So the sky's really the limit. But the point is that control structures such as if, for, while, and repeat are all basically at the heart of really interactive scripting. And uh, this is something that everybody should, should get a handle on uh, before they get into writing scripts. And it's very, very simple stuff. So we're actually going to, I'm going to go on to the next video lesson right away here. And we'll go ahead and break down this if statement and take a look at the essential components of it and how it works.